Hey guys, what's up? It's Danielle. So welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have something really exciting to share with you. And this has been a very long time coming. So I'm just going to open it and we'll get started. This literally just came in the mail today. And I have been wanting one of these for almost the last 10 years. So I'm just really happy that I was able to get my hands on one. So this came from, I think it was Tennessee. She packaged this like really well, I will say that. And it is, of course, pre-loved because you can't get this anymore unless you buy it pre-loved. Let me get all this stuff out of the way. Of course, Mr. Baki is here and he's like, what are you doing, ma'am? Okay, this is the Kate Spade personal size Wellesley planner. And I know someone's going to say, what the hell are you doing? Why do you need another planner? This is going to be my wallet. And <sighs> my cat's licking the condensation off of my soda. <laughs> so to give you an idea, this is what the size comparison is as opposed to my Filofax Pocket Original. So for me personally, it's not a huge deal because A, I have really large hands and B, I genuinely don't care if I have a bigger wallet. To give you a better idea, this is the personal size wallet that I've had for, I don't know, two or three years now. So it's just slightly, I guess it's around the same size, but the Kate Spade has a little bit more room width wise, but it's all leather. It's in pretty, I mean, it's in really good condition for being used. And not only that, I love that it's zip around. So like I said, I've been wanting one of these for almost the last 10 years. I think I first saw this particular planner um, from the Reset Girl. And ever since then, I've been obsessed. I also saw that somebody used it as a wallet and that's what kind of sparked this whole thing. So I do love Kate Spade, but anyways, this is what the inside looks like. So it did come with some of the original inserts and whatever. I'm not going to be using basically any of that, but it has the black interior. There's a slip pocket right here, and then there's all these card slots, which I thought would be perfect. I don't carry that many cards anymore, but you know, this would just make it that much easier. There's also another slip pocket right here. And then obviously you have the rings. And then back here, there's kind of like a secretarial pocket. And there's also a pen loop. So, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to start taking stuff out of my wallet and moving it over. And I'll show you guys what it ends up looking like. All right. Moved all of my stuff in, and what I will say is that <clears throat> I have quite a bit of room in here, but I do love the fact that this zips all the way around. You might be able to hear my cat playing with his toy right now, but I have room for basically all of my cards. I will say that these are a little bit tighter than what I'm used to as far as like the file of Axe Holborn or even the Malden, but I think that's okay. So 
I have a couple of spaces just because there's some cards I have that are a little bit more like papery that I don't want to put in here just because they, you know, could potentially get ruined if I'm trying to put them in there or take them out. So I mentioned in my grocery haul last week that I went to Staples and I got a business card case and I actually cut cut out the pages and I punched them. So I have a couple of these to use at my disposal. I was going to potentially use some of them for store cards. I usually tend to just use like the little key fob things that, you know, are on my keys or I just put in my number, but that's definitely a possibility. So I if you think about it, these were relatively cheaper than if I had purchased them online. I couldn't find any ones that I liked that opened the other way. So like I like the ones where you pull them from this side instead of this side, just because I think it's easier with the rings, but it's not the biggest deal in the world, especially if I don't use the cards all the time. And Aside from that, you guys have seen everything in here. I mean, I still have the same envelopes. So I have groceries, gas, pet care, personal, dining out, household, miscellaneous, and then savings. And then I do have my budget sheets. These are what I use to track my spending for all my categories. I just, I don't use it for like my accounts or anything like that. I have something separate from the budget mom for that. And then I have just some regular lined paper, which is just for notes, whatever. And then I am using this from the original Kate Spade inserts. It's just, it's not even like fly leaf material. It's kind of like like, all right, I moved everything in here that I could. And obviously the stuff I'm not showing you guys is because it has personal information. But I did notice that the card slots are a little bit more snug than what I'm used to with, say, like the File of Facts Holborn, which honestly, that's okay because the goal is to not use any of these. I mean, obviously can't help it all the time, but that is the goal. So a couple of things. I did share this in my last grocery haul, but I picked up, it was like a business card holder that was like 17, 18 bucks from Staples. And what I did was I cut out the pages and then I punched them and the only thing I don't like is that the cards have to be loaded this way instead of from the outside. So it's not the biggest deal in the world, especially if I'm not going to be using those cards a whole lot. But it's just a little, you know, a little annoying detail. So I can't put all of my cards in these slots because some of them are a little bit more papery. So the only stuff that I'm not showing you guys right now is like my debit card and then because it has my bank on it and then also my, what is it, my first aid, CPR, whatever card for work. And then I also have, it's like a prescription card. I don't know why they make this shit out of paper. Like it's literally just like a piece of paper that's not even laminated. And then... There's just another insurance card, but I was going to put most of that in one of these just so that I have it in the wallet, but it's also a little bit more organized versus just what I was doing before, which was using a zip pocket. Then I have all of my cash envelopes and you guys have seen these before. It's nothing new. They're linked below if you're interested. They're just from Amazon. I also have... 
my budget sheets. Again, these are also linked below. I really like these. I find that for, you know, being on the go, it's really helpful. And then I just need to put a pen in here. But I did add a couple of other things, and this is subject to change. So I had these in my old wallet already, and I they were actually stickers or labels, I guess. So I took them off, and I just put them on this page so that I can take them with me. I do have this in Google Sheets, so I can refer back to it anytime I need. But I also wanted to have a copy of it in my wallet just to kind of reinforce everything. Then I have this, which I slowly started coming up with in my Filofax pocket. These are just some savings ideas. It's not anything too involved. It's really just short-term goals. Then I have some reminders for the rest of the year as far as like financial stuff. And then this is something new that I'm doing. So this is like forward planning for the next couple of years. So I don't have anything planned as of right now for 2026. But for 2027, my mom wanted to go back to Korea with both me and my brother. So I'm going to start saving for that Probably not for the rest of this year, but starting next year, I would guess. I don't know. We'll see how things pan out. But I just wanted to put that in here because otherwise I will forget. And I'll be like, oh, I have plenty of time. And it's like, no, you, you really don't. Then the rest is just like blank paper for notes and whatever. And then I have one of my beloved grid note cards and I like the ones that have the grid on the front and the back. You can get these at Staples. And I just punched it right here so that I can fold it over. So the idea with this is that I can put my goals on here or something along those lines. And then I can just have it front and center in the wallet, you know, when I'm like going to buy stuff or just in general. And then, like I said before, this is one of the little card holder things that I punched. And, <clears throat> excuse me, this is from the Kate Spade planner. This is original to the planner. And it's like a fly leaf, but it's like really plasticky. So I thought this would be nice just to kind of help you know, with the pages and everything so that they don't get stuck behind the rings. And I don't have anything in the secretarial pocket right now. So I'm really, really excited to be not only, you know, I'm really excited to not only have this in my possession, but to start using it. So that'll be a lot of fun. Kind of makes me wish that I did more shopping, but I have really been getting a lot better with that. So I guess thank you, Night Shift. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll love you all, and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.